What are your prime directives? Serve the public trust, protect the innocent, and subscribe to Peg Warmers. Welcome to Peg Warmers. I'm Kevin. I'm Tony. And I'm Ryan. And we're here to talk about toys. Today, we've got Robocop. Yes! There's a clear focus on Kenner, Robocop, and the Ultra Police here, but yeah. also some other Robocops. Yes. I love Robocop. It's the fan greatest. Oh, oh, man. I love it so much. Huge fan of Robocop. Oh. It's a really good one. Yeah. I, I, I've told my story before, but when I was a kid, mm. I had some of this toy line and wanted to see the movie, and my mom was very conservative, mm. and she taped the TV edit for me off TV. And every day I, well, the first day, you know, the next morning I woke up, like, when I got home from school, I watched part of it, and we got to, like, the first violent scene. She's like, that's enough for today. (laughs) (laughs) And then I'd watch some more the next day, and when I got to the next violent scene, she's like, that's enough for today. (laughs) And when I got all the way through it, it took, like, four or five days, she taped over it, so I couldn't watch it again. Meanwhile, my parents were like, go watch a movie, RoboCop. Mm You're yeah. four. Your dad's a cop. This won't make you think about how <laughs> short life is at all. <laughs> I, just, I just love the movie. I like my earliest memories are like a bunch of Disney movies, but also sprinkled in Predator and RoboCop. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I had. I mean, we talked about this privately. Yeah. I had the same experience where I would watch, like, I would watch RoboCop, Alien, all this stuff endlessly because my mom had a massive VHS mm-hmm. collection, and it was like no hold barred. Whatever you want. Yeah, I think that's a good one. I think you'll like it. There's there's a robot. There's whatever. It's got lots of like, you know, whatever. I'm like, cool. Okay. And then watching it, I was like, what the? Yeah. This is amazing. And I don't remember the first time I watched it. I was so young. And then we just watched over and over mm-hmm. and over and over again. I was like. Oh, Last year, I got the 4K the Blu-ray finally. Okay. So it was very exciting. I didn't have a lot of the toys growing up. I don't know if I had any toys. I think I had like a weird stand that RoboCop sat in, but I didn't have RoboCop. Like some, mm. I got some people's hand-me-down toys <laughs> yeah, yeah. and I got some accessories without the actual toys. However, I'm eyeballing one. I was very mm. jealous that my cousin had, but I'll wait till you get there. <laughs> <laughs> well, so the RoboCop and the Ultra Police toy line, which I have a lot of them loose and also some of them up here, mm. was based on a cartoon or was, had a tie-in cartoon, but the cartoon was just called RoboCop? Yeah, it wasn't called RoboCop Ultra Police. No, and, and not everything really matched up on screen. Like, mm. it it sort of bridged the gap between the, the movie and the toys. Like, okay. certain things looked more like the, the movie. Yeah. And even some of the characters that definitely got toys didn't quite look like the toy. Mm. It, was, it was a weird thing, but it's pretty well done. Like, it's fairly watchable for a, it's fun. a cartoon yeah. of that era. You know what's funny? I, like, it's a weird connection I made recently. Um, you know the original Crow? Mm-hmm. Yeah. People say it's similar to RoboCop. A guy dies, <laughs> comes back, kills people. Yeah. One of the writers of the Crow movie worked on the RoboCop cartoon. I'm like, oh, I guess he had experience doing something yeah. RoboCop related. <laughs> So uh, most of the figures in this line came out over two waves. The first wave all had a cap-firing action built into them. Yeah, and I'm looking at that, yeah. I assume for cost that they dropped it for wave mm-hmm. two because uh, nobody nobody in the second wave ended up with that feature. Um, I have one of the bad guys here. The The, the bad guy team was called the Vandals. Oh. <laughs> that was like the biker gang thugs. And I have uh, Buzzsaw here with the caps uh, are, are in they, him there. Are they primed? They're primed. <laughs> so oh, the no. uh, the... RoboCop came with blue caps, which was pretty neat because yeah. usually you get red caps. Yeah, I remember playing with red cap, like cap guns. Dropped his gun, right. but here we go. You ready? Whoa! Whoa. Boom! Whoa. Can you smell the sulfur? Woo. <laughs> I love that smell. Do they still make caps? So I... I think you can still get them, but I've heard that the material is thinner and it doesn't work in okay. the mechanism. It doesn't Ugh. feed them anymore. You better be careful. Like, I mean, you only have collector. It's true. Seven more times you can ever play with that. <laughs> <It's true. laughs> I dropped his chainsaw somewhere. Oh no! All of these guys come with an accessory that can like hook on their hip. Mm. Oh, that's cool. But they picked the wrong hip for RoboCop. Mm-hmm. Oh, because it's like it's pretty much standard across the line that everyone has the hole, but it's yeah. on the wrong side. <laughs> Uh, but I always like I always like Buzzsaw. I thought he was kind of a cool looking mm. thug. Batman beat him up. Like anytime I needed a street tough, yeah, it yeah, yeah. was Buzzsaw yeah. for me. Nice gang of guys. You beat up by anybody. It's nice. 
Here's the main RoboCop figure from the first wave. Again, it's got the cap firing backpack. His gun looks nothing like the gun from the movie. No, not at all. I always thought it was really cool looking. Yeah. Uh, and he has the removable helmet, which is a nice feature. Okay. very cool, yeah. You know what's funny? Looking at that, I, I didn't notice this until a few years ago, and now it's going to ruin the movie for everyone. <laughs> when he takes his helmet off, his jaw guard just disappears. Yep. Oh, and yeah. they never show what happens to it. He takes the helmet off. He takes the helmet off and the jaw's gone. <laughs> and like I someone on Twitter years ago pointed it out and now I can't stop looking. I'm like, where does it go? It's like the eye maker. Where does on it Batman. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's the eye maker from <laughs> yep. Batman Returns. Where did it go? It just disappears. Yeah. <laughs> um <laughs> Although that does look pretty dorky. Like his his helmet looks pretty dorky. It's like too big. Like that <laughs> yeah, looks cool, yeah, but yeah. the helmet on the it's kind of like a little Dude. bit too big. It's really hard to do removable helmets at this scale. Yeah. Mm. But I always did like that feature. Um just because it let you make him a little bit more vulnerable and play out the the parts of the story where he's not yeah. wearing the helmet. Yeah. Which is cool. And unfortunately they didn't really do um movie related bad guys. They just mm -hmm. made up all new bad guys. Um but they yeah. did do a few characters from the movie but they don't really look yeah i don't hate when they do they that. had to have done lewis right so here's ann lewis she has a crossbow and a helmet <laughs> she's like ant-man's helmet on what she the hell helmet on you can pull she it off like oh, okay not terrible no. mm. that's fine they had to figure out how to sell the girl figure it could be worse you know? it could be worse yeah. she does have the cat firing backpack also and a crossbow and a crossbow i mean oh, i remember that scene <laughs> in old detroit <laughs> Classic Detroit crossbow. <laughs> Who, who's that guy oh. with the glasses there? Is he just another bad guy? This guy right here? Yeah. This is Dr. McNamara. He was actually in the cartoon of Fair Mountain. He oh, okay. Robotic He arms. was like the main Ooh. bad guy in the cartoon, I think. Yeah, he right? was like the main bad guy. He has a, like a walkie-talkie, mm. and he's got a little machine gun. Um, I actually had one of these guys blow apart on me using the cap feature. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I was like filming some B-roll for something else years ago, and I snapped it, and the like the the weld joint in his torso just like popped uh, apart. Speaking of destroying a robot co RoboCop thing with fire, uh, I used to have an airsoft BB uh, <laughs> replica of RoboCop's gun. It okay. looked just like the That's gun. Cool. It was That's one neat. of my favorite things. And uh, we were making a movie, and I wanted to look like a laser gun, so I put like a sparkler in oh, there. Oh no! Uh, and I didn't think, and it just <laughs> melted the freaking gun. And, like I, I had to throw it away. Like it's not even you. It can't be salvaged. It just melted the plastic. Sparklers get crazy. Hot. I know. <laughs> it looked cool in the shadow. I was like a robot. I was like, Psh, oh, and man. then I'm like, oh no, I can't use it anymore. <laughs> So here's Sergeant Reed. Oh, he made a Reed figure. In this line, he gets out from behind his desk. Nice. <laughs> in the cartoon, he pretty much just wears the police uniform and mm -hmm. is in the in the precinct all the time. But he gets a helmet and a fancy gun and some caps. Mm -hmm. Everybody had this cool blue vac metal yeah. that I thought was really neat in this line. I think the only other place I ever saw the blue vac metal was uh, one of the Silverhawks characters had it. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, but it just looked really really cool on this line a lot of the vehicles and stuff have it too. Well, yeah, that, that's the thing for like RoboCop 2. They made them like more blue. They, mm -hmm. like, switch from gray to blue for that. So I guess they maybe they're trying to, like, match that aesthetic. Yeah, I mean, this one's got a slight blue tint to, yeah. to him, too. It's not quite as blue as he is um, mm. in some of the Terminator 2, or, yeah, yeah. RoboCop 2 stuff. <laughs> yeah. So I don't have Wheels Wilson. He's the vehicle driver of the line. I Damn. Need to, I need to get him. <sighs> he has a dorky white helmet. <laughs> uh, Birdman Barnes, who I always thought had the worst name, is the dude in the yellow jumpsuit. I okay. had him as a kid. He has like a gun that shoots a, a grappling hook, but it doesn't actually shoot. It's just on a string. You can okay. like manually oh. do something with it. Ace Jackson is this guy here. He looks like a Marine. He's got like a funny okay. this, it almost looks like the thing cyclops comes with yeah the X Men toy line mm -hmm. wait I've, <laughs> that that's a gun i feel like the recoil is gonna just hit him <laughs> in the face in the if head. he shoots like bang oh god my head he's got the hearing protectors on though he's ready to go <laughs> to the range it's not the ears it's your face you're gonna crush your face <laughs> as soon as you fire it <laughs> uh and lewis we looked at and then and sergeant reed so those were all the good guys in the first wave and then the bad guys we mentioned chainsaw dr mcnamara Nitro has the blue and or the yellow and black pants down okay. there. Okay, the guy with the ponytail. The guy with the ponytail. Very cool. You got to have a bad guy with a ponytail. <laughs> and then the leader of the Vandals um, was called Headhunter, and he's here with the red pants. Okay, he comes with a crowbar and a gold gun that happened to also come Ooh. with an exploding Terminator figure. Oh, that looks two. very familiar. They, they throw back to that one. Love to reuse stuff. Yeah, <laughs> those cheap rascals. <laughs> I mean, why not? <laughs> he 
He also was available as a mail-away figure at one point. So here he's all baggied up. Oh, Ooh. nice. Fancy. So the, the packaging I always liked has like a grid thing going on mm. with the red. Mm -hmm. I always thought that was a nice detail, and they individually painted each figure. Although that doesn't really look like him. <laughs> no, it doesn't really. Not really. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we've got Reed. We've got Headhunter there. We've got Chainsaw. But some of these guys are from the second wave, and that's where it gets yeah. a little bit more interesting. The, the Night Fighter. Night Fighter Robocop is probably one of the coolest figures in the whole line, if you ask me. Uh, definitely seen accurate, right? I mean, Oh, you know, yeah, I remember that scene oh, where I he, remember he, when he glowed, glowed in, the in the dark. dark. <laughs> that so, really helps fight crime. <laughs> Night Fight Robocop was a mail-away figure in this line, okay. and then they packaged him later. Okay. Uh, but he has a Gatling gun arm. Ooh. Very cool. And then his same gun and helmet. Um, when you really want to shoot people in the dick at a <laughs> rapid rate, yeah, gun. yeah, they did keep the cap a action in this one, okay. which is nice. Nice. Um, so at this point, we added to the line for heroes Torpedo Thompson. He's the guy here in the blue with the giant <laughs> missile launcher. That is, I'm looking at it in the package there. That is a giant missile launcher. Insane. <laughs> He's kind of dorky. I feel like the quality of the sculpts went down on a lot of the yeah. young guys. They got a little bit more generic and a little bit mm. more like. Oh, we'll get the the new guy mm. to yeah, he's work your on test his sculpting figure, yeah. shops, and we'll have him do Wave 2. Yeah. Uh, Torpedo Thompson, and who else do we have? Claw Callahan. Another <laughs> guy I don't have. Um, I like Claw Callahan. If I, I ever get in names. trouble with the law, I'm going to change my name to Claw Callahan. My name's Claw Callahan. <laughs> yeah. It's a good alias. Rusty Shackelford and Claw Callahan. <laughs> <laughs> Gatling Blaster Robocop here. Whoa. Yeah, pretty good one. Oh, oh that's that what that I is? thought that okay. was the jetpack from three. That's it does kind of look like that. So it has, this is a kind of old fashioned looking toy though. It has a crank on the back. Oh, wow. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Oh, oh see, I like cool. that better than missiles. Cause then so you lose the missiles. Now we don't have to do caps anymore. Mm -hmm. Cause the toy makes the noise. Yeah. Um, and I actually have this figure okay. without all his gear here. Yeah. So they had to re-sculpt like a back because okay. he doesn't have the uh, firing yeah. action so you can put the giant yeah. backpack hmm. on. You cannot get this figure to stand. Like, uh, really? Really, <laughs> with the backpack on, he cannot stand. Uh, but this was a good way to keep um, like a traditional looking RoboCop mm. in the line. They didn't go the route, well, they did with Night Fighter, but they didn't mm. go the route of like, let's do a blue one. Let's do yeah. a yellow one with lightning uh, okay. bolts. You know, yeah. Like, that didn't come until later keep on. Robocop <laughs> in the line, right? Yeah. And then there were two bad guys. There is a toxic guy because you know it was the the nineties and uh, everything was toxic. Toxic. So we have toxic waster here, <laughs> and he's got a water squirter because that's a popular. Of course, yeah. Doing water so squirter long. stuff was fun. Water squirter's good. And I think then, we talk about like the Joker and Batman had the yes. water squirter, yeah. And then he, there was also a guy named Scorcher, who I don't have, who was like a flamethrower guy. Mm. Okay. He just came with a big missile launcher, but he has the worst face sculpt in the whole line. <laughs> really? Like insane eyebrows. I'll have to get a, a shot of him to, to put in there. But he is insane. Um, but this line had a decent number of characters and then really a ton of vehicles. Mm, I'm looking at these motorcycles and the car. Yeah. So this is called the Robo Jailer here. Okay. Uh, it's Very like cool. the paddy wagon for, for the, the line. It can open up in the back. It can open up on the side. The canopy slides down. Mm. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> and falls off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this one is in a little bit of rough shape. It's been around for a while. It was not mine as a kid, but uh, it's that's pretty it, cool. It, it was definitely played with by some kids. <laughs> um, this motorcycle was mine as a kid, though, and the chrome on it like disintegrated at some point the oh. blue chrome. and I, i've actually seen a lot of pictures where this this just happened to a lot of people's for some reason okay. especially with the motorcycle i do have a nicer version of that nice mm -hmm. and if you're a fan of batman you may have seen the bat cycle oh, yeah. oh okay i, I think cool. we talked about we that did. yeah they kenner just loves that part usage so they, yeah. they made a new like windscreen part mm -hmm. and everything else. Is and I'm, the same. I'm seeing they did it for another Batman. They, they did it again. So um, Headhunter has his Vandal motorcycle here. Ooh, nice. And the Joker got the same one. All Wait. they did was retool the missile that shoots out of the front. Wait a of the minute. Bike. Headhunter should have his giant face so everyone yeah. knows that it's Headhunter <laughs> driving so. around. I think so. Yeah. 
But it's a great motorcycle sculpt. So, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. why not why not reuse it? Reuse it over and over and over again. <laughs> and then this is not ED209. This is ED260. Yeah, okay. okay. Years ago I was looking up old RoboCop like commercials. <laughs> and yeah, that really drove me nuts. Like ED260. I'm like, "What?" Why is it not just 209? Yeah, why not? I guess because all the 209s were destroyed, so now we have to upgrade it. But now it, they're in 2 and 3. Oh, well, I don't know then. It it does have the cap firing action. Okay. I, I guess, oh, they go in through the top there. It's a little different than the backpack yeah. style one. Um, but it has like the nice ratcheting joints. Uh-huh. That's actually, I'm it's sorry. a pretty good representation. For a minute, when, before you like told me what that was... I thought that was like a newer toy. It's a very it looks, nice sculpture. Yeah. It no, looks like from the movie. A lot of times they would like cartoonish yes. it up a little mm-hmm. bit, like some of these characters. Well, but like no, this that actually, van. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. This the sculpt is, on this, this van well versus that is yeah. miles apart. And then let's see. Over here, I've got the box to Robo One, Ooh. which is RoboCop's police car. Not really the one in the movie, <laughs> and also not quite the one in the cartoon show. Yeah. The cars were kind of futury. A they little were a little bit. bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, they didn't look like that. They didn't have rocket. Yeah, the launchers. missile launcher on the roof. <laughs> I love the br- the blue chrome though. It just looks that is so very good cool. on this. And it can open up, and you can put two guys inside. You got to turn the missile launcher. <laughs> open it up. You can fit two guys inside All there. Right. There's actually slots in the seat uh, for the yeah. triggers on their backpacks. Oh, cool. Uh, and there's no there's no trunk. Okay. Okay. Uh, because you know, you wouldn't want to store his gun anywhere. Yeah. Like if it's hooks on his hip. So this is another one of my weird RoboCop stories as a kid. Mm. I had these toys before I saw the movie, which mm. is why I wanted to see the movie. And a kid that I knew was like, oh, I can tell you about RoboCop. And I was talking to him <laughs> about this toy and about how I wish there was like a trunk to mm-hmm. store his gun. Yeah. And the kid's like, oh, he can't have a trunk. And I was like, why can't he have a trunk? And he goes, because he was a drug dealer before they made him into RoboCop. Oh, and he can't have a trunk because he might try and sell drugs again. And I was like, oh my God. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> And then I saw the movie, and I was like, what is this kid talking about? Oh, wow. I, I used to hate when kids clearly didn't see movies and would just mm-hmm. make it up. I'm like, you just say you didn't see the movie. Like, <laughs> yeah, you could have just told me you didn't know anything I would have it. been mad if you did, said, I don't know yeah. how RoboCop got made. Robo-1. Do you think they were trying to, like, compete with Ecto-1? I, Probably. 100%. <laughs> yeah. They were trying to, like, cash in on that. It's pretty cool, though. It's actually one of my favorite, like, police car, or, or I mean, just cars in that kind of scale. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, Holds two guys. Kind of looks like functions uh, well. Inspector Gadget's it car. Does look a little bit like Inspector pretty Gadget's cool. car. Real quick, I have this that a fan gave me. Uh, Gabe. Uh, it looks like an older figure. I don't know who made it. I don't know where it came from. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this is Kenner. I'm looking for a logo and I'm not seeing anything. They used to do a lot of those weird uh, vinyl figures. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it is a vinyl They're figure, but cool. like, where is the? The Batman for uh, Batman Returns vinyl figures yep. were like really By cool. Applause. This this one looks like RoboCop like lost a lot of weight. Yeah, <laughs> and just got like really sad. Like he like he literally has a long face. It looks like mm. his face is squeezed. <laughs> it looks it looks really sad. He, his gun is attached. You can't take it off. Wow. And he just kind of like wiggle it around. Yeah, I have a uh, I have just found at a thrift store um, two vinyl figures of Dracula and Mina from. Bram Stoker. I, really? A few and years I, ago when I, I was... It was in uh, with all these like old Victorian paintings and whatever because they're dressed like Victorian. Yeah. Yep. And I saw him and I was like, what? I what tried to buy those. That? And I, I tried to buy those on eBay when oh, I was buying a lot of Dracula 1992 yeah. stuff. They had the set. It was Dracula Mina. I think they had the wolf mm. and I think they had the red meat armor. Okay. And I tried to get the whole set and someone outbid me for them. <laughs> I, I've been trying to find like how much are they worth? Like, can I sell them? Should I keep them? Like, I don't know what to do with them. <sighs> I haven't seen a single picture of them online. Yeah, like, nothing. Check, check like, eBay. That's where I found them. Before. Yeah, yeah. I got a NECA RoboCop over here. Holster action. I had to buy nice. this one because as a kid, I always w- liked how the holster. Yeah. you know, the leg yeah. opens up. So this one is sculpted, so you can open it up. Um, yeah, NECA made some cool ones. They did. Uh, I think stuff. I had the uh, the same. It's the same sculpture, but it was the video game version. Yes, I was like just about to say cool they did um, and everything. They did a RoboCop Terminator combo, so you could mm-hmm. buy both and put them back to back, and yeah. it made it look like it was mm-hmm. a scene from it. I think it had like a fire variant mm-hmm. on it, like they were on fire. 
Uh, but NECA did some cool stuff. So this is yours, Ryan. Yeah. I have the same exact one, only yours legs never broke, whereas mine's legs have broken like 50 <laughs> times and I'm tired of moving. So when mm. you had this, I'm like, good, I don't have to take mine off the shelf. Yeah, he's got some weak ankles, but besides yeah. that, he's in pretty good condition. And whatever batteries they have on here, they last they forever because mine still works too. Here we go. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Uphold the law. It's a pretty good sound bite. I think there's one more, right? Yeah, I think machine gun. Oh. Uh, be, be trouble. trouble. Uh, this thing is awesome. My mom came home with this for like high school. She's like, look how detailed this thing is. <laughs> I'm like, that's so cool. Really <laughs> nice. That thing is so yeah. nice. Yeah, it is it is insane. It had like two arms too. You could take the gun arm mm -hmm. off and he just has like an open palm that you could switch with. Uh but yeah, it looks exactly like him. And it's got a little bit of the blue tint too from Robocop. Too, yeah, even it's though it's like more based so, off blue. It is so nice. I yeah. love that thing. I was I got that as a gift and it like sat on my art table for years when I was in high school and like <laughs> just drawing looking Robocop like mm, you're so cool. <laughs> And then uh, we also got this guy. I had this as a kid, but this is not my... Yeah. I lost a lot of my childhood toys. Oh. Um, so is that so from Robocop 3? Because he has I the think, machine Yeah, this hand. is Robocop 3. Um, I, almost, I almost got this in the package recently, mm. and I missed out on it. And then I found out later uh, that the person who outbid me didn't pay for it. But before, the, instead of reaching out to me and being like, hey, so I got that, that thing you wanted and he didn't pay. No, I'm going to resell it. And they just sold it to who, the <sighs> first person who walked in. I'm like, mm. <laughs> so that. But this guy had, uh, he's got removable hands. Mm. Um, I forget if he had anything else besides just the. Um, and then he has a leg that opens up. Yeah. Which is so cool. You can put his gun in there. Dude, I my cousin had that oh, toy. So awesome. And I was so jealous that it had the leg. And and it talked, right? And his mouth it does would light talk, up. yeah. His it mouth like it a... glowed. I'm like, so... I want this so bad. I didn't even know they made Robocop toys. Because again, it was like a <laughs> yeah. little bit before me. I guess three was the one that came out. Uh, so he, he was like a year older than me. So mm -hmm. he got the toy and I'm just like, that is, I love it. I want it so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I know we've talked about the Kenner Ghostbusters figures mm -hmm. before from the real Ghostbusters cartoon. Do you remember yeah. the filmation Ghostbusters where they had the monkey? Oh yeah. Uh, so do you, are you aware of this? Yeah, I know the filmation. Okay. Yeah. So I loved the filmation cartoon show as a kid, just about as much as the real Ghostbusters, okay. but I never had any of the toys. And when I was in first grade, a kid that I became good friends with had a bunch of the the Filmation Ghostbusters figures. Yeah. And I was like, I was willing to trade him anything for that. <laughs> and he was moving away. And so I traded him the RoboCop motorcycle, RoboCop, Birdman Barnes. <laughs> I kept Robo One. Yeah. Uh, but I traded the, the, the two figures. Oh, and I think Chainsaw, because I think I had him. So I traded okay. the three figures I had and the motorcycle uh, for... The three main Ghostbusters. Okay. Uh, but he he couldn't find the gorilla. So oh. he gave me the two humans, and his mom's like, we'll mail you mm -hmm. the gorilla when we find it, when we unpack. Yeah. So I was like, <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever get it. Oh, well, you know. And so they ended up mailing me the gorilla later. That's so and funny. Then, and I, I, I was so excited to have them. But then, like, a few weeks later, I, like, missed the RoboCop stuff because I still had the car. And it was yeah. like, really, <laughs> I loved the car. So I was like, I so I literally asked my parents for the, all that stuff again for, mm. oh, for like no. Christmas. Well, I didn't ask for Birdman Barnes because so I thought he was dumb, but I asked, <laughs> I asked for the motorcycle and Robocop. Asked for the good Chainsaw stuff. Again. Yeah. yeah. That's funny. Oh, yeah. Man. That is when you get rid of something, you're like, oh, now I miss it. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. I wish I had it. I mean, this is the one thing in my collection that I would really miss if I ever got rid of it. Oh, oh you God. jerk. <sighs> you know, I had to bring the remake Robocop with me. Actually, I was at a thrift store recently, and they were selling, like, a kid's mask of the 2014 okay. RoboCop. I bought this before I saw the movie. Yeah. I yeah. was like, oh, cool, the toys are ready I to get one. I just watched it, I guess, early plug. I just watched it for the second time. Uh, we just did, uh, back in November, I did what is, uh, we did the first RoboCop. Okay. And then I did a mini review on the new RoboCop game, mm. which was awesome. Okay. That game is Awesome. I keep waiting to buy it. I'm you like, can, it looks so nice. You can punch someone with the data spike. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Cool. They the the ricochet shot from two. That's a feature <laughs> in the game. Nice. 
you get you get the, cool. you get achievements for doing the ball shot. Uh, <laughs> it's a great game. They totally nailed it. Uh, and then recently, uh, me and my my friend Tom came back and we did what is the worst RoboCop movie, and right. I had to rewatch the remake for the first time. Yeah, less hatred for it, but still not a big fan. They they <sighs> were trying to make it like a modern superhero thing, yeah. and it just wasn't working. Yeah, the uh, the thing that killed me with that was like right in the beginning. In RoboCop, there's like this huge dramatic death scene. Mm. It's like genuinely upsetting. Like when I was little, I was like, why, why mm. were they so mean to RoboCop? <laughs> and uh, and then he like, oh, it's a car bomb. Yeah. And his head is in the car. It blows up. It launches him. And then, oh, his arms and his legs were damaged. I'm like, his face, his <laughs> literal face how did his, in the car. How did his face stay intact? He blew you know, his arms off and his leg or whatever. Yeah. Like, are you kidding me? You know what me? was a real bummer, though? Like, show that suit again, the, the, this. Ugh. The first suit they give him in the movie is gray, and it looks uh-huh. like a looks, modernized, yeah. other than the stupid hand, yeah. it actually looked great. I'm mm. like, oh, if I was remaking RoboCop, I'd probably make it look like that. Yeah. And then midway through the movie, they're like, all right, switch it to a worse-looking suit yeah. so it resembles the new Batman, because Gary Oldman's in this movie, and we want to remind people about Batman. And I'm like, wait, the gray suit was so much better. Why yeah. did you do that? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Ugh. We gotta make it our own. Yeah. So there are other vehicles from the Ultra Police line. There's a helicopter and mm. a whole bunch of other goofy stuff that they slapped the blue chrome on. Yeah. Uh, but I don't have them all, unfortunately. But I, I did have a lot of fun with these toys as a mm. kid. There was another police toy line around the same time. Hasbro did a, a toy line called Cops and Crooks. Oh, okay. yeah. They also came with caps, but they were not, like, auto-feed. So oh. you had to, like, manually put the cap in and make it go each time. It was oh, that's annoying. Nice. And, yeah. and that cap feature sucked compared to this. Oh. Being on the market at the same time. Um, speaking of kid-related RoboCop stuff, uh, on Tubi it was on there, the Canadian live-action show. Oh, mm. not Prime, the, Prime not, Directive. No, no, not Prime Directives, okay. which I hear are actually pretty good. I haven't, I've never seen it. Yeah. I would see it in, like, Redner's on DVD, and I'm like... Yeah. I, I hear they're crap. like okay for what they are, but yeah. no, the Canadian live action show. <laughs> it's very kid friendly. Okay, they have okay. like a cartoony bad guy. Like he's yeah. not really shooting people. Like it, it's so watered down. I'm surprised none of these characters were from that show. Yeah, yeah. Ugh, it but... definitely is something you can make work for kids. The, yeah. the original movie was not really intended for that. No, but, but it does. It the premise is so good. A mm. robotic police officer. You know, cleaning up the city. It just yeah. lends itself to toys and Who wouldn't cartoon. love that? Yeah. That's great. Well, the whole like, <laughs> point of the movie is like, wow, these corporations are like marketing this and uh-huh. exploiting him and he's got to <laughs> rediscover his humanity. And then in real life, they're like, we're going to make... <laughs> the little kids are going to be like, I want to be a robot guy uh, going boom, boom, boom. <laughs> my uh, VCR game, my RoboCop VCR game. Whoa. The future of law enforcement is you. Whoa! It has uh, real footage from the movie. It it does. I can on watch VHS. RoboCop on that. T- <laughs> yes. I forgot. Sorry. I forgot. There's a motion sensor on the thing. <laughs> Hold on. Let me turn him off. You're a bad man, Tony. <laughs> I forgot there was a motion sensor. <laughs> um, yeah, I bought it just because it. I was like, yeah. Posters are huge. I don't yeah. have that much room. I thought this would be fun, and I love VHS tapes. Yeah. Um, the art's gorgeous, and uh. I brought it, actually, I, I got it signed by Peter Weller. Mm. I brought it up to him, and he was looking at it like, what the hell is this? <laughs> I was like, it's a VCR game. And he's like, a what? A VC- <laughs> what? <laughs> he was like so confused. I don't know if, I don't know if I ever knew this existed. And he's looking at it. He opened it and was like, what the hell? I said, yeah, it's got clips from the movie. I mean, it's not the greatest, but it's yeah. cool. It looks cool on a shelf, so. Who, who's he the was, other autograph? It just says two. two oh, Ryan. okay. Sorry. Yeah, I think he just wanted to fill up space. <laughs> <laughs> You're not trying to get the, the girl played Ann Lewis to sign it. You're not trying to maybe get one day Kurtwood Smith. You don't want <laughs> Kurtwood Smith's autograph. <laughs> if they ever go to conventions, I might. But yeah, it thinks the um the Clue board games like the mm-hmm. v- VC yeah VHS board games. Are so much better because Clue one and two, I think there's only two of them. No. They have like they actually filmed like a movie, like a mini movie, and there's actors and oh, I'm the Colonel Mustard, blah blah blah, yeah. all this nonsense. This is literally just clips from the movie. Oh. I was hoping it would be like Carmen Sandiego, and there's like 
uh, you're on the case, detective, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and, like, it'd be something fun, but it's, it's you know. Instead, it's like, watch 10 it's seconds of show. RoboCop. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's just Ed 209 shooting at you. And like, well, you better roll a five. <laughs> <laughs> but it does look good on my shelf. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they've done a RoboCop figure in a paint scheme like this, with like the the lights reflecting off of oh, like that source cool. lighting, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. kind of interesting. Have, but I didn't realize that was should. a painting until like recently. Mm-hmm. I thought that was a photograph all these years. It's so lifelike, yeah, and then I looked really. at it like really close. I'm like, oh, that's a painting. Yeah, it's gorgeous. RoboCop, you silly goose. Who is he? What is he? Where does he come <laughs> from? <laughs> So, Tony, what's going on with you these days now that we've talked about RoboCop? Well, like I said, you can go back and check out those three RoboCop videos I did. They were a lot of fun. And uh, buy yeah, that for a dollar. <laughs> yeah. you can head by... Oh, when are they going to make a figure of that guy? Ooh. That guy. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> check out those uh, episodes. And yeah, we're just putting out episodes every every week. Sometimes we do live episodes. Those are fun. I stream occasionally on the second uh, Hack the Movies channel and Twitch. And at the time of this recording, my seven-day suspension is probably long gone from Twitch, unless I got a new one, um, <laughs> for describing a scene in the movie oh, and not geez. showing the scene. They were like, and then I contested it. They were like, <sighs> no, it's I'm like, come on. Corporations are the best. <laughs> so yeah, go uh, check that out. And then I have like Patreon and whatnot. And that's all fun. Uh, you can check me out, Monster FX. Uh, I make custom, weird, fun toys and merch and all this stuff for movies monster stuff and you know just check me out well it was great having you guys on again it i love doing these episodes talking about movie toys yeah. and uh getting some other people's thoughts on 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 the different lines and stuff yeah um so anyway thanks for hanging on the peg with me i'd buy that for a dollar we already did that one oh <laughs> <laughs>